we in our company have a thing um, that's called the Valley of Sorrow. Um, Ooh, when you start nice. when you start learning Spryker and it is getting harder and harder, when you fall down a cliff and you think, oh shit, it is a lot of things you need to learn. Hank, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Um, yeah, joining me for this small session, just uh, getting to know a bit more about yourself. And with that, the stage is yours. Who are you? Tell me a bit about yourself. Yeah, first of all, thanks for the invitation. Um, really excited to be here. Um, so yeah, as you said, I'm Hank, I'm currently 23 years old, I'm working at uh, Basecom, um, which is based in Germany in Osnabrück. Um, yeah, that's basically the nice. Thanks. 23 years old. Oh man, I'm feeling so old right <laughs> now. Hank. Oh man. But okay, but then the first question that I already have in my mind is how did you become then a developer? Yeah, so I guess I started programming back in eighth or ninth grade, which is uh, a pretty long time ago when I'm uh, looking at my calendar. Um, so I just started programming like smaller things, um, making smaller tools and programming with C++, C++ a lot mm -hmm. um, and went on making Minecraft mods because I was a big gamer back then, um, which was like the thing that really started a fire in me. <laughs> That's so cool to hear. I are you still into gaming, if I may ask? Uh, not actually. Um, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not not gaming a lot. Um, maybe one game a year like this. Okay, uh, okay. I don't, I don't really have a computer, uh, which oh, I'm okay. using privately. Okay, makes sense. Then um, yeah, maybe you can give us a few words about how was your first interaction point with Spryker actually. So yes. what was your first yeah impression? Yeah, um, my first impressions with Spryker were at my company where I'm doing an apprenticeship right now. Um, so actually my coach uh, in our internal academy, uh, which everybody has to go through, um, is still in this team, uh, in, our, mm -hmm. in our Spryker team. And um, he stated that uh, Spryker is a really cool tech and it is a lot of fun. And um, that's when I started to think about, hmm, maybe Spryker is the thing for me. Um, and he actually, after that, um, talked to me and said that I'm going to be in our Spryker team. Okay, so then congratulations for joining an extremely cool technology and big kudos to the train and that uh, champion within Basecom. Um, so let me be honest with you, sometimes people say like, hey, Spryker is an extremely cool technology, but also sophisticated. So maybe the entry barriers can be high, it can be tough to learn. Uh, so that's why I want to know, how was it for you actually, like that learning curve, like being in front of those new things that you could build? Um, so actually I was, uh, when I started, I was excited a lot. And um, we in our company have a thing um, that's called the Valley of Sorrow. Um, Ooh, when, you start, nice. when you start learning Spryker and it is getting harder and harder. And um, that's when you fall down a cliff and you think, oh shit, it is a lot of things you need to learn. Um, but then you start to learn more and more and, and think about it um, and it makes more and more sense. And um, after that, after the valley, everything is good and you just learn, learn, learn. And it is um, a lot of fun. Oh, interesting. So there's like that moment of like exploration right where you feel like a bit like oh man so much stuff and then you figure out the patterns and you see like oh this actually makes sense right that that's a that's a cool yeah. way of saying it um so when you then you put yeah right you are you are getting hands on on stuff like how do you feel actually about that like working with sprike itself like is there anything that you feel like when you are coding basically and building stuff yeah, it is a lot of fun. Um, the thing that I like the most is the customizability. Um, it is, you, you can make it so individual um, that you just, you, you start to love it. And um, it is just a great tool. Nice, nice. And is there something that you particularly enjoy when you are working with Spryker? Like I already heard the customization, but, or is there also something where you feel like, man, I'm looking forward to do X, Y, Z in my future? 
Um, so actually, um, I am a, so I'm excited a lot about the new Oryx. Um, so Oryx and the front end is something that I'm looking forward to, um, which it makes stuff so much easier. Um, when we were at the, the Spryker Hack site and uh, the hackathon, and we could um, actually start using the Oryx system, it was so much fun. Um, it makes so much so much sense and it is just um a great it's, it's just a great tool nice nice and um i mean if someone now would uh would uh, uh come back to you right and saying like hank i want to learn something more about spryker uh is there anything you would particularly recommend to them like someone following your journey um okay so let me start so i would say um, it may seem difficult and complex um, but it is worth it in the end um, you can nearly do everything in Spryker so the use cases are so broad you can do really anything um, and also where Spryker shines the most is the edge cases so it may not be the thing for every shop system I guess but um, it is just great overall nice nice so i'm definitely hearing that you are, have not regretted your decision so far to learn a lot of things in regards to spryker so my question to you is and that's a pretty critical one hank i'm counting on your answer you're like can we count on your attendance at the next hackathon of course of course that's what i want to hear um so I really appreciate the time with you and I know it's like you are doing a lot of cool stuff so I don't want to stop you from doing those things so I just want to say thank you for your time really appreciated it and I'm hoping that we will see each other in the next one and that a lot of developers will follow you and you grow your own career with the Spryker technology alongside you have a good one Hank thanks you too bye